Orlando Julius the Kimode is a son of Oshun, the goddess of the living waters. He is a musician, a master of Afrobeat. Empowered by Oshun, he took his music to the world. Now he has come home for spiritual renewal. The rhythm of traditional Yoruba drums is the foundation of Afrobeat. African musicians borrow western horns and guitars but continue to think in traditional ways and write for African drums. in drum style while performing with western instruments produces the driving percussive sound of Afrobeat. Music is a part of daily life in Africa. Everybody participates. O.J. Kimade was a participant from the day of his birth in Nigebujisha in Nigeria's Oyo state. As a teenager, he learned his saxophone from Jazz Romero, one of the pioneers of Nigerian high life. He did his apprenticeship with popular band leaders such as Rex Williams, Eddie Okonta, and Ike Dairo. Then he graduated to become a headliner himself. Drums. Drum making is an art, and one of the most enchanting creations is the talking drum. A log cut from the roko tree is carved in the shape of an hourglass and made hollow. Goat skin drum heads are fitted to each end. The skins are then laced together. By applying pressure to the laces, the heads are tightened to change the pitch and make the drum talk. In earlier times, such drums were a primary means of communication. Their use in modern times is largely ceremonial. A loose, joyful beat announces births and accompanies naming rites. On spiritual occasions, the beat is more formal and solemn. The dance of the Egum people commemorates the god of the Roko tree, the tree whose wood produces the finest drums. The participants, who must be male, dance about the great drums, striking it with special sticks from the Agogeku tree. The sticks, called Kongo, are 
are formed and curved by each drummer to achieve the preferred shape and contour. Additional rhythm is provided by an iron bear. Pottery drums called ikoko are struck with soft mallets of woven feathers or grass. Thank <laughs> you. 